Hi, everybody. Welcome to Facebook Live Sunday. Rose Ward, stampersdelight.com. Gotta put the old glasses on. Hides my bags under my eyes. <laughs> A little tired. I was down in the stamp room for 10 hours yesterday, but I loved every minute of it. But I got a lot done, so that's a good thing. It was just a matter of what did I want to start with first. So I narrowed it down because if you saw Friday's uh, Facebook Live, I got a ton of things. Hi, Janet. Yes, definitely stop in, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. So I had so much stuff that I got in on, um, and I showed you on Friday. I didn't know where to start. So sat down and organized myself and decided to start with the holiday that's coming closest. So that was Halloween. Um, I do want to, while we're waiting for everybody to get on, I'll just uh, remind you of the specials that we have. Uh, the color, color Your Season special starts for the um, customers now. And that's the um, full set there. Uh, it's a bundle. You can get that online. Uh, if you order through me, um, $50 or more this month, you want to use this code, which is also on my website and blog. Um, $50 or more gets you a $5 coupon to use next month from Stampin' Up. $50 or more on my website gets you in for um, a free Stamparatus drawing in September for me. So, uh, again, stop in, say hi. We'll go through all that again. Um, the new catalog. Yes! I have one in every room with me. <laughs> if you need a catalog, if you don't have a demonstrator... If you do, great. I'm sure she's going to get you one. If you don't have a demonstrator, get in touch with me. I will reserve your copy and send it out as soon as I can. Okay, this goes live for the customers on September 5th. So, uh, what else do we have? Um, the giveaway will be done at the end. I did call demonstrator support because I wanted to give away maybe the nice ribbon from the catalog. Unfortunately, they told me I couldn't because it's a pre-order item and I can't give it away until it goes live for the customer. So you're just gonna have to hold out on that. So I'm gonna give away ribbon um, from today's video and I'll announce the winner on Facebook Friday. But we do have, uh, um, I'm sorry, the ribbon today is from last Friday. And then of course I'll be doing another one. So I'm just so excited about everything out here. I can't keep everything straight. All right, so let's see. What I started with, um, I, again, I decided to do, um, Halloween cause that's the, um, you know, the closest holiday that we're going to be, um, doing cards and, and gifts for. So, and I figured with everything I ordered, pre-ordered, even with my classes, I have a class tomorrow night and I have a buff, a card buffet, uh, August 21st. There's still room for that. If anybody wants to get in on the card buffet, um, I have a product class on the 28th, which is actually the, um, Color Your Season product class, if anybody's interested in that. Again, stampersdelight.com or just, you know, Facebook message me. But anyway, um, after looking at everything I ordered, I said, you know, I'm never going to be able to do this many videos before the holidays. So what I did with the, um, the Halloween ones is I'm using both. I'm using the Cauldron Bubble and I'm also using the Spooky Sweets. And I kind of combined them because they do go together. So, want to see what I came up with before we start stamping? Okay. So, the first thing is a little treat box. Okay. And that's with... Now, this is the Designer Series paper. And this is the um, framelits. So, this is the Cauldron uh, bubble set, the uh, framelits, you know, the bundle. Okay. And what I did, you can see the little, there were jelly beans in there. Yes, I had fun doing this. I picked out all the blue and purple ones for this box. <laughs> so these are, let me just show you. These are our little clear treat boxes in the catalog. That's number 141699. And they make great little gifts. Okay, especially, you know, for your trick-or-treaters. And I'll bring it in real close so you can see what I did to this. So for the cat uh let me just see no i'm sorry i didn't cut this one out the other one i did i apologize this one i stamped and then cut it out and i used the new stamp and blends the new colors and you can see i put the red eyes 
the rhinestones for the kitty cat. And if you can see up here in the boiling green lava there, I used the detailed glue. I don't know if you can see. So it actually looked like it was shiny and watery. And I just took um, a one and a half strip of our designer series paper, wrapped it around, glued it down, and then put that on the front of it. So it's a cute little treat box. Now let me show you the other one because the other one, I'll put this down for a minute, is the one I used the framelits for. Okay, so I didn't have to, I didn't have to color anything. I just used the framelits for that one. And I could have put the detailed glue on that too and made it look watery, but you, and I'll bring them both together so you could see. And for this one, I put all the green jelly beans in there. These are jelly beans. I had a lot of fun putting the jelly beans in there because I was eating half of them. These are those, um, designer flavors or whatever <laughs> so let me show you again the difference let me just bring them together so one is stamped this one's stamped and this one is cut out with the framelits from the uh well they're both framelits but from the designer series paper cute aren't they and this one's got a little guy a little frog on the ribbon so that was the first thing I came up with. Another thing I came up with is, I'm gonna have to flip the camera down to show you some of these things, but um, some cards, let me show you the cards. So here's one of the cards I did with the hats. Now again, this is the fr using the framelit and the designer series paper. I just cut the hats out. And the little um, spider up there, he's hanging by our um, silver, nylon thread there silver the silver metallic thread okay and then inside of course is the bats and this is what i it, so this is um this oh this i wanted to show you too because this tag i used a lot of and this tag actually goes to one of the christmas sets it is in where'd i put it i knew i'd lose it I put it over here so I wouldn't lose. Oh, here it is. It's the Merry Christmas Thinlet Dies, the new one. And it's this tag right here, this framelit. I used it a lot. So that's, an, that's one of the cards. You're going to love this card. Here's another card. Again, she is cut out the designer series paper. I cut her out with that. I did stamp the broom and cut that out with the framelits. And then if you see real close here, you can see up in the corner, the, the, uh, I used the black foil paper for a spider web. And again, I put the spider in there. Okay. And there's that framelit again. And then there's the inside. Now the inside I did stamp. And used the, um, the blends, the new blends for that. And here's one, if you saw the online um, teaser, this is a little four by four. I like the four by four cards, especially for Halloween, because if you're given a treat, you don't really need to give them a big card also. You can just give them a little card. And the trick, or, yeah, here's the trick or treat. This is all from the quadrant. Now I'll bring that up a little bit closer. Now this one, I colored with all the blends. Okay, so I stamped her and then I colored her in, okay? And then we have this little guy. Again, I like that, and this one again, I used the hats. I didn't color them, I used the framelits for those. And they, it, they work so well. Uh, another card I did, and we're, I'm gonna be stamping this one to show you how I did this one. Now this one is with the uh, Spooky Sweets the stamp set, the bats, and the background, but yet the saying is from the cauldron bubble. And you can see I stamped the bats, and then I did using the punch, and then in the inside. That one I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, and I'm also going to show you this, because this is a little treat box that I did. Now, I had done these last year, and uh, for the craft fairs. And I'm gonna be doing some more of those this year. I have actually some empty ones from last year. I ate all the candy out of them. But I'll show you how to do that too. And you just lift that up. This is our acetate boxes. 
they're um, cut in half. And I'm gonna show you that, okay? And then last but not least, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this too. Everybody knows how I love my Dollar Tree and my candles. Well, I decided this is, it was so dark, right? It looked like some kind of potion. So I made a little box for a little treat and I'm gonna package that up. So it says bubble, bubble, toil and trouble because it looks like to me like maybe a little, you know, witch brew, okay? So those are the things so far. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the camera and I'm gonna play around a little bit and watch me stamp. Keep saying hi and um, I'll be back with you in a minute, okay? So let's just bring the camera down where you can see me. Hopefully I don't lose anybody. I know this is a little crooked. There we go. Okay, again, there's the online code that'll be on there later on too. Okay, so let's start with, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is real quick, I'm just gonna show you how I would ba bag this up. Now, Stampin' Up! used to have the, the gusset bags that fit, but they don't anymore. So I found these in a the Dollar Tree. I think they're like 25 for a dollar. They're very thin, they're not as thick as our gusseted bags, but this is the size I needed. So what I would do with my little candle is, I, and this is our boxes, by the way, our little pizza boxes. And then what I did was I cut a hole in it with our uh, layering ovals. And there's um, another video of mine on YouTube that I show you exactly how to do all this, the designer series paper. From this hole right here, that's what that round piece is that she's laying against. And again, she's cut out with the designer series paper. Okay, so I just put that, well, I'll put it in there in a second. I put this in here. This makes a nice little gift for, you know, obviously not a trick-or-treat or kid. But. And then what I would do is I would bring this up. I would take a little bit of our new ribbon that I love so much. I don't know that I would tie it in a bow. I might just tie it in a knot. And I'm just going to bring it around to myself here. You could do a bow if you wanted to, but I would just tie. I could tie a little bow if I wanted to. Yeah, I'll do a little bow. Okay, so you could just do something real quick and easy like that. Give it to a little coworker for Halloween and then pair it up with a nice little four by four card. Okay, and you know, I don't actually get any trick or treaters where I live. It's sad to say the only ones I ever got were my son and my next door neighbors, but um, I do do Halloween. I like to little, give little gifts, even if it's just to my mom and my mother-in-law. You know, people would love something like this. Just a little candle, a cute little candle and a little card. And that's what I was saying about the 4 by 4 They go nice with those. Okay, so let me show you this one. So we have our acetate boxes. And all you have to do with this, I have a, a heavy, a, not our paper cutter, or paper trimmer, I don't use that. I have a heavier uh, Carl cutter. And what you would do, I'm not gonna cut it in half because I have I have some cut in half already, but you just line it up on your, your paper cutter. It doesn't have to be exact, but here's where your fold line is, right here and here. So you wanna get that right in the middle of everything and then just cut that in half. So let's see where that would be. So this is like five and three quarters. So you just wanna cut it halfway. Okay, make a little sense make some sense and what did I do with my piece to show you I put them over here somewhere I will find them he's probably behind me right no he's not I think he's over here oh there he is okay so here's the one that I already cut in half and I put together so it's gonna look like that and then what you're gonna do I threw everything all over the place before I was kind of not coming on camera so let me just move this out of the way and get this out of here so I can find my paper sorry about that I should never put things on top of well you know what it was I got the paper here okay move that now now I feel better okay so here's the half a box now I already cut the paper that I needed and I'll tell you the sheet Fit, to fit it in here is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half, and it'll fit perfect in here. So I just slide it in there that way. Now what I do 
is I will take my paper piercer. You can't imagine all the stuff on this table. But then again, it's always like this, so. <laughs> I take some um, glue dots. And what I'll do is, depending on which side, I think I'm gonna use the ghost side this time. So if you see this one, I use the purple. I'm on the ghost side. So I'm just gonna put two little glue dots right here so that when I put this in there, it's gonna hold it down for me. So I'm gonna slide it in there. It's got a little give on each, it's not perfect, like on each side, but it's close enough. Cause I, I gotta have some room to get the candy in there. You can take your bone folder and just go in there and slide it. Once I have that down where it's held, uh, then I'll put two more on there. I will turn it over and I'll put two more glue dots here just to keep it down so it stays against the acetate box. I got a little goober on that one. Don't you love the, my term terminology, goobers? Whatever, okay. And then I'm just gonna make sure that sits in there. So there, sat, okay? Now as far as scoring it, because this is not really a real good edge and I don't measure it because sometimes the box is a, li a different size depending on if I cut it straight, I just bend it over that way. And then that's my first place I'm gonna pinch it. It'll make sense when I show you. And then I'm gonna, you see what I'm doing? I just pinched it back, so that's my score line. I'm scoring it myself. And guess what, that new tool I showed you the other day, pick your tool. That's gonna come in handy and I'll show you how in one second. Okay, so I'm just gonna flatten that out and I just eyeball it. Okay, it needs to be pinched right about here. Pinch it right about there. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna go ahead and put something on in the front of it anyway. So let me just pinch a little bit of it. Okay, so that's about where I want it. So then I'm just gonna fold it back Again, trust me, with candy in here, if the kids or your friends or anything like me, they're not gonna be looking too long at the, your fold marks. They'll be tearing into this. And then I'm gonna take that, I'm just gonna put my own little score mark on here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just enough for me to line it up. So there's my little box. Okay. Oh, win okay, Win Ann. <laughs> you can come to my house trick or treating. So that's there's the box. Now I already have some candies to put in it. And I like to put the candy in first only because it gives me a little bit of um oomph <laughs> to uh push down on this. So these are some little chocolates. I got some dark chocolates, some cherry uh what is it, caramel, sea salt, toasted coconut. Okay, so that would let, that's how I would fold it. Now, also from the Dollar Tree, what I did was I got these little guys, and these are those little Velcros. You could actually um, cut these in half for today. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use a whole one. You don't really need a whole one. I'll show you how I do this though. This one you could see I cut, I cut in half. I'm not gonna bother cutting that in half today. I'm just gonna lay that down and lay this part right on top of it. Hopefully I laid it right, I should have measured it. Yep, there we go. You wanna make sure that it covers it, okay? And just give it a couple of minutes to set. I'm just opening it back up so I can decorate it. So that would be, there we go. That's gonna hold on to it, okay? Now this, remember, remember my um, inside of my candle here that I cut out and I used on that? Well, I had done another candle, so I'm using that instead of just a piece of cardstock. But I mean, DSP or a piece of cardstock, um, you just use your layering ovals. I have this cut out, so I decided to use this. Okay, you're gonna, I would uh, snail that on there. This one's gonna be a little bit heavier because this one's on cardboard, but I just wanna use up my pieces. That's another great thing. 
You can use up all your pieces by doing that. That's what this was. It was a an extra piece I had. All right, so it's, it's almost together. And then I'm going to go in here, and I had already... Where, oh, here he is. I had already cut out, and again, this is using the um, the framelits and the designer series paper, which I'll bring back in a little bit. And I'm just gonna put, I could put him right on there. I don't know why I called the hat a him. Or I could cut another um, little girl out, the witch or the pot, the, the um, kettle. But I had this little piece of green left over from something, so I said, you know what? We don't like to waste anything. I'm just gonna snail, put a little snail on this. Might want to actually use some tear and tape on that, but I think this will be enough. Because Halloween, you can use just about any color. Put this right there. Hold it on there. Okay. And then I would just take a little, um, I didn't bring out, oh, I forgot to bring out a little punch for my hot, happy Halloween or something. Well, let me just grab that. back okay so let me just use um trick-or-treat take out trick-or-treat grab my little thing here see what color i got over here i got some pieces of i think that's mellow ma mango melody let's see what else we got here i think this is a old piece of something i these are my scraps so some of them might even be this might this actually might be a retired color but it works for what I'm doing. I'm just going to go down here and put trick or treat. My little scallop punch in here. Could have used the smaller one, but that's okay. I'll put a little snail on it. And you get yourself a little treat box. Now, if you get like 200 trick-or-treaters, I don't know if you're going to want to make these, but I think they're adorable. And, you know, they're, they're great for if you uh, have younger children and at school they do a trick-or-treat um, gifting or something like that. So those are my little trick-or-treat boxes. And again, or you could use these ones, the smaller uh, two-by-twos, I think they are, and make some... Of these with the jelly beans and now so let's see what else we got here so for this card what I did let me bring that in is I took because that purple goes so well with Halloween and this is our gorgeous grape so I'm gonna go in and fold that and then I'm going to just layer my black right on top of there. And I like this card because it's using both stamp sets. Okay. Now, I'm going to move that out of the way for one minute. This is the inside. I want to make sure I got the smaller piece. Yep. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to take, I'm going to use the Spooky Sweets. And I'm using this background stamp in the Gorgeous Grape. And what I did is I wanted to make my own background. So down here I did it dark, and then I just went lighter as I went up. You don't have to keep re-inking it. That's exactly the way I wanted it. And then I'm just going to sponge it off with my chamois. Got to have that chamois. I'm going to leave that open. Hopefully not mess myself up here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my smoky slate. And I'm going to bring it back in. And this one I might have to re I re-inked only because it is a lighter color. And it gives it a background, like a spooky night background. Isn't that cool? Then what I did was I went with the bats. Okay. And I did those in black. Again, I'm not going to re-ink them up every time, though. 
Okay, actually, I'm going to tap off a little bit. I don't really want them real, real dark. So I'm going to go here. I might have to tap a little bit more on that one. Here, here. Just giving it a background. And then i got to clean him off. Well, I'll leave him because I'm going to do it again anyway. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up again. I'm going to take this piece. Put him over here for a second. And this is the way. Now, I could use the Stamparatus for this to line it up correctly. But I wanted to do it with the punch because the last time I used a, a punch, I used, showed you how to do it with the, you know, lining it up and making a... Um, like a template. But this stamp I found, if you put him, if, if I do it correctly, this will work. Okay, sometimes I don't always get it in the punch correctly, but I've played around with this one and this one seems to work pretty darn good. If I flip it this way and I slide it in there, it comes out perfect. Every so often I have a problem. This one I had, haven't had any problem with and I've used it several times. Okay. But again, you can use your um, Stamparatus, and I did do a vi quick video on that a while ago. If you check back on Stamper's Delight on YouTube, you'll see that. Oh, yes, follow me on YouTube and Instagram. Whatever else there is, Pinterest. <laughs> okay, so we got all these little guys. I made a couple extras. And this ribbon, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little ribbon over here. So the cool thing about this is, and again, these are two different stamp sets, but they go together really well. I wasn't going to make a lot of treats for Halloween, or so I thought. Do I want him? Yeah, put him right there. And let's just do this. I always put a little snail back here to keep this in place. And then I'm just going to sna snail him down. I'm living dangerously because I'm putting this whole card together and then I'm going to actually stamp the saying. <laughs> okay, so I'll lay that right on there. See how great the purple, the grays, and the blacks go together. Yeah, I think this card might be make, going to California. My kids in California, they work in the horror industry out there. They love their Halloween. So then I got all these little guys and... I need one more thing here from this stamp set. Is that bubble, bubble, toil, and trouble. I absolutely love that saying. <laughs> it is my favorite. So we're going to do that in the gorgeous grape. And put that right there. Okay. And then I'm going to get some mini glue dots. The mini glue dots work perfect for this. And I'm going to start putting my bats on there so it'll be 3D. Just one on each little... Oh, I should be showing you this. Remember that handy-dandy little tool? Well, guess what? I can unscrew that piercing part, or the scoring part. And I got a paper piercer to use for my bats. One tool in your hand for everything. And let's flip a couple more of these over. I should have had some of them already put together. You don't need to see me doing this, but... Was it a gorgeous Sunday today or what? Beautiful day out. You'll never hear me complain it's too hot. When I do, I'll just remember the winter. Okay, I don't need that for there. Okay, so then I'm just going to pull that off. And I want to put one right in the middle so it holds that ribbon down. This is another larger one, so... I'm going to put him... Whoop. Put him maybe over here. there and be a little different I got this little guy so let me put him right here okay so there's that one so you can see I did them a little different 
I didn't stamp the inside, but the inside's gonna look just like this. Okay. Pretty cute, huh? So, I think that was it for that one. What else did we have? Oh, I wanted to show you. Let me bring it back in here. Because this is, to me, this is important, okay? I'll show you all the, the things again. To me, this is important that you see this because it's so great. I, I just love the way these match up. If I didn't move them too far away, which I may have. No, here they are. Okay, so here's the framelits that I just used. Now watch this, how easy they are to use. Okay, so there's, I'm just going to bring them all out here for the ones, the ones that match up anyway. And where's my cat? Where's my little kitty cat? There he is. Okay, so if you're using this paper, this is for the, the boiling, and it fits right on there. And then the little cat also fits on there, right there. The little frog doesn't. He's a little too big. Isn't that cute? Isn't that great? This paper is unbelievable. I know, Diana. I love it, too. Okay, so that's those. Then with the with the witch, anyone that you see where her hand is up, she fits right on top of there. Perfect. So if you don't feel like cutting these out, you can just find one of her, even if she's got the broom on, and cut her out. This one, her head... Her, has to be the one where our hat is like that. Okay. So that works. And then, of course, the hats. You can see I did a lot of hats. The hats work perfect. So I just had a lot of fun doing these. Uh, and like I said, I, I started with Halloween because it's the first holiday coming. I hope you like them. So let me show you everything again. And I did do one thing. I, oh, oh, here's the other thing. It's drying. I wanted the, the baker's, the larger baker's box. I was playing with that. I don't even have any shoes on. I love being home. So I, I took the larger baker's box and I used alcohol and reinkers and I spritzed that. I didn't finish this that yet though because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just wanted to check it out. So I can make a treat with that. And I, I will spritz it again. I just wanted to see how it came out. I covered this with painter's tape so it didn't mess that up. Okay. So let me bring these in again so you can see the cards. So that was one card. And again, this is to the Christmas set. This one, I love this one. I love them all. And then the two Toil and Trouble ones. You can put some, um, actually, I, if, I did, if I didn't want to get up again, I could put some black um, rhinestones on there. This little one. We got the little coffee cup. Drink at your own risk. We have some little treat boxes. And some candies in them. Great Halloween ideas. And then we have the other treat boxes. These are really cute. I like these. And if, you know, for school fairs and bazaars, these would work out great. These would be really great. Okay. Now, if you want to hang in there with me for one more minute, I did do something I wanted to play with. Because of the blended seasons, color your seasons, I figured I should be playing with that set too. But I did a video on that. And if you remember, these were a lot of the cards that I did with that. So I'm just bringing them back in here to show you. And again, um, I'm doing a class on that on the 28th. But one of, one of my um, customers asked me about stamping on vellum. So let me show you what I did with this. I haven't even finished uh, putting this together. But this is our Heather Highland and then our Designer Series paper, Heather Highland. And I stamped, so yes, you can stamp on the vellum. I let it dry. And I figured, you know what? While I'm on camera, let's see how this looks with the new colors. So when you, when you stamp on vellum, you wanna do it on the back side. So I've got my new colors. I wanna use 
these for now. So let me just see how these come out. So again, I'm playing. Haven't done anything yet with these. So I'm just gonna put some, let's just see how it comes out. This is the way I'm just, you know, blending, gonna blend this. I'm not gonna go crazy with a lot of colors. But I know she's probably watching and she wanted to see it, so why not? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> Helps if you grab the right one. I've done that before and I've actually come out with some nice colors. On the greens, oh my gosh. So I'm not gonna color the whole thing. You'll get the idea. I mean, unless you wanna hang out with me. But there's a new Hallmark Murders and Mystery movie on tonight, so we have to be done by 9 o'clock, okay, ladies? <laughs> Anybody else into Hallmark? Like Hallmark Christmas Channel, Hallmark Murders and Mysteries. It's my downfall, that and Law and Order. I'll admit it. Don't keep saying hi, ladies. I know I'm not answering you right now because i am got my head down, but I will be. And I will be pulling a name for uh, Friday's video and the winner for today from Friday's Facebook Live is going to get Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon. And then of course Friday morning I'll be picking another name for a for a, uh, prize patrol. Okay, so let's just see how this looks. Okay, so it's fairly light. Ooh, I like that. And I like it because I'm gonna go back in here and put some yellow in there. And I think the green is gonna make it pop. That's what I wanted to see. I could put it on white cardstock, but I just kinda wanted to see what the green would do. I mean, the Heather Highland would do. So again, like I said, I'm playing. You know, it's funny. Three months ago when I started these videos, I would have never done this. Tried something without testing it out before going on camera. But you girls have made it, and guys, have made it so easy for me to just do it. Again, I'm coloring it towards the side on the marker like you're supposed to. Sometimes I forget, but that's how you want to color on these. Let's just see. I'll tell you, this blended season set, Color Your Seasons, this whole set is gorgeous. So I guess playing with the, all the new stamp sets, like Friday I'll be back with another new set. I guess I'll do Thanksgiving or fall. Um... I'll have to have a blended season card ever, since that's on sale too. Okay, so now what I would do is I would lay that on there. Oh yeah, look at that. That comes out nice. Okay, so let's just say I'm gonna put a little, I'm buried over here. I'm gonna put a little snail in each corner because you're not gonna see it. I'm just gonna lay it right there. And then I'm gonna bring in, I don't know which side I wanna use, let's say this side, this side. Oh, I think I like the stripes. I'm gonna snail that all the way down. Sticking to my fingers here. I gotta bring it down closer to me, sorry girls. Or sorry stampers I should stay, because we do have some Gentlemen on there that are stampers. Kevin, I didn't see Kevin on here tonight. Look at that. Yeah, Vicki, I started doing, I did one or two way back when. I think I started doing the videos around May, maybe a little bit April, maybe. Yeah, it hasn't been very long. 
So isn't that, I mean, that came out pretty good. I kind of like that. All right, so let me just see that I, and I think I have a, oh yeah, I have a stamp here. So let's just try this. And then I would embellish this, of course. Let's see if this is big enough. This might be not, that piece might not be, oh, it's perfect. Boy, I lucked out there. All right, so my punch is in here that I like to do a tag punch, but that's okay. I'll just, I'll do it this way. Uh, let me just grab dimensionals because I like 3D. So this is really a tone on tone card other than the green and a little bit of yellow. But not bad, huh? That's pretty, that's pretty good. I like that. Sometimes I amaze myself. <laughs> okay, ladies. Let me bring the camera up. There we go. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some great Halloween ideas. I'm not saying that I won't be doing any other Halloweens. I still might do a few, and this is going to start moving again. I don't know why it does that coming back up. I had it sitting here the whole time before and it didn't move. Anyway, um, so I'm sure I'll be doing a couple more um, Halloween ones, but for the most part, uh, I, I wanna do Thanksgiving. I wanna get through all the sets that I bought. So I might have to do two sets like I did today, and which is a good thing, because you can get to see how they coordinate with each other. All right, so let me just pull the name here. I'm, I'm pushing it up, I know. Let me, I got my computer over here. So let me just remind you about the color your season special right now that's going on. That's this set, okay? Um, every $50 you order right now through Stampin' Up, uh, you get a $5 coupon. If they send you that coupon number, you have to keep track of that. They will not keep track of it, and it's like cash. If you lose it, it's gone. If you order through me, with my online code that is uh, will be on again on the bottom of this Facebook Live and uh, video and my blog, um, I will be giving away a Stamparatus on September first for anybody who orders for each fifty dollar order before shipping and tax. So you can order as many times as you want in August, and every time you do, your name will be put in for a free Stamparatus. Can you tell I want this grease trip? Okay. Um, and I will do that live. I will pull the name live on September 1st. I don't know what time yet. Okay. So here is the list of names from Friday morning's video. And I'm going to pull the winner. The winner is going to, I'm holding the, I'm holding my camera so it doesn't move. The winner is going to win the ribbon, which is hiding again right here. Okay, and then again, uh, leave your comments. I will get back to you on the comments. Share the video. The more you share it, the more comments, the more um, chances you have to win on Friday morning. Okay, so I'll see you back here Friday morning at 7 a.m. Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. I don't have a drum. So. <laughs> Number six. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Number six is Bunny Green. Bunny Green, you won the Blackberry Ribbon, a Razzleberry Ribbon, Velvet Ribbon. So uh, instant message me, send me your address, and I'll get that out to you this week. Okay, thank you all for watching so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate everything. Really, I appreciate you um, watching and sharing the videos and just for your friendship. I really do. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great week, and I'll see you back here Friday morning. Bye.